there. Welcome to today's lesson. We will learn about open sentences. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to find missing numbers in an open sentence, identify the relationship between addition and subtraction, solve related quantitative aptitude problems. Are you ready? Let's begin! An open sentence is a mathematical sentence where one or more numbers are missing. For example, 2 plus what equals 5 is an example of an open sentence. It shows that there is an unknown number that when you add it to the number 2, it would give you 5. What minus what equals 15 is another example of an open sentence. It implies that two unknown numbers need to be subtracted from each other to give a result of 15. We will also have multiplications and division in open sentences such as 8 multiplied by what equals 24 and what divided by 4 equals Four. To solve an open sentence, you need to put the correct value in a blank space. Using the example we just saw, 8 multiplied by what equals 24? To solve this, we need to find out what we multiply 8 with that would give 24. Starting with 8 multiplied by 1 equals 8. 8 multiplied by 2 equals 16. 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. For the first example, the missing number in the open sentence is 3. Let's solve the next example. What divided by 4 equals 4? This means we have to find a number that would give a result of 4 if we divide that number by 4. Remember, division is a process of sharing numbers into one or more groups. Let's try a shortcut. Divisions can also be seen as repeated subtraction. In this example, we're looking for a number that we can subtract 4 from 4 times without any remainder. And the fastest way we can get this is to first do repeated addition, which is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. Dividing 16 into 4, we get 4. Therefore, the missing number for the second example is 16. The example above also shows the relationship between addition and subtraction. While addition means adding things together, subtraction means taking things away. Addition and subtraction are opposites of each other and undo each other. For example, if you add 1 plus 1, you get 2. But if we take away 1 from the 2, we go back to 1. The shapes on the screen are examples of quantitative aptitude problems and we can use what we've learned about open sentences to solve these equations. The top shape shows the total. So, this means we need to find a number that when we add to 50 gives us 70. The second shape means we need the total from adding 16 and 36 together. And for the last shape, the missing numbers would be what we get when we divide 14 into two places without any remainder. Solve the quantitative aptitude problems. We have now come to the end of this lesson. Today we have learned how to find missing numbers in an open sentence. Identify the relationship between addition and subtraction. Solve related quantitative aptitude problems.